Hey, greetings out there to all my uh, bald comrades. There are a lot of us, I'm afraid. And um, I was about to get in the shower and uh, stick a little hair on this head. And I thought maybe I should do a bit of a video to show you the very sad befores here in this and hopefully come back and be improved. Hey, I'm back. Um, left the video camera and went into the bathroom and stared down at the hairpiece on the counter in front of me. And uh, then in eight minutes, I was looking at it on my head and I was done. Now, I can hear it right now. You, There is no way you could have done that in eight minutes. And I'm telling you, yes, I did. From the time I put, looked at the thing on the counter to the time I got it on my head, eight minutes later. And you're probably thinking, ah, Rick, I can't really tell that much difference. It didn't really do much for you. I just don't have eight minutes to spend to look a little better. So, okay. I know some dudes that look great bald with a shaved head. I wish I did. It just isn't me. So it's worth it to me. Uh, tremendously worth it to me. A funny story. <clears throat> I have a little uh, granddaughter who's not yet two um, and had never seen me without hair. And uh, she spent the night with us and I took my hair off after she went to bed, but I take that night to just let my head breathe, my scalp breathe. So I got up the next morning and didn't have hair on, and she gets up. My grandkids all call me Big Daddy. Yeah, I know you have to love that, right? And uh, she looked at me and she looked at my wife and she said, Big is broken. Well, we got a huge laugh out of that. But the honest fact of the matter is, there was a part of Rick that was a little bit broken because I just look, get up in the morning. You've seen that before picture. How would you like to look at that? Get up in the morning and look in the mirror and go, Ugh. but in the process of it all, not feeling like there was much that I could do to help. And so when I, I would look in the mirror and I would see that bald head, that's, that's not how I felt inside. That didn't feel like who I was. It felt like it rather stolen, stole my identity of who I was. Then you go into a department store or whatever, and you have people to make comments about how you look. I was like, honestly, I didn't know what that felt like. I thought, now my wife, I've told you, she's beautiful. I don't know how he did it, honestly, but she gets that all the time. But I never have, ever. Even when I had hair before, really, I said, I don't know what the deal is. But now I don't go anywhere that people don't make some kind of nice comment to me. Having hair on my head, as dramatic as that sounds, and maybe I'm weird, but kind of gave me my life back. Put a little spring in my step, a little zip in my style. So, there you have it. Hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. If you're on the fence about hair, how can you watch this and still be on the fence? I mean, seriously, really? So, signing off. There you go, super hair pieces is the way to go. Happy camper here. Peace.